Welcome everyone. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but in this video, I just kind of wanted to go over my IDE setup really whenever I'm working on a data science project, machine learning project, or kind of like a data project overall. I made this available on GitHub right here. And whenever you want to kind of just set up any of these for a project or whatever, this is kind of usually the default that I start with. I start with very simple, um, you know, just kind of the basics really. So usually what I do is I download VS code really and we'll kind of go over all these steps right here. So the first step is usually just I go to VS code and download this wherever you know if it's Mac, Windows or or um, Linux. I usually just download um, VS code because it's a very simple um, code editor but it's also very easy to use and very customizable which I really enjoy and it has a lot of developers backing it up so um, specifically for Python and other sort of packages um, or libraries this works really well so this is my code editor of choice is VS Code and I do use GitHub Copilot which is a really great feature on this. Once you have that downloaded of course the other thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download Python. Um, Python really has become the standard language for any sort of data work in general. And Solo has become one of the most, if not the most favorite languages overall for code editing, developing, and what have you. So, and it's very easy to use and very powerful. So once you have those two, the other thing that I'm going to um, usually recommend for people to get started with is installing extensions. Basically think of extensions as pre-configured packages, libraries that make coding in VS Code very easily. There's a lot of developers supporting these and it makes it very simple and easy to use these. So let's kind of go over a couple of the ones that I would recommend. So here in my personal VS Code, if you take a look over here on this little uh, building box over here, these are the extensions. So let me show you what I usually have. Install, typically I have everything that's associated with uh, Python make things easier for my workflow really. Python debugger, GitHub Copilot, Markdowns, Jupyter Rendering, Jupyter, Jupyter Labs, Jupyter, PowerShell of course, PyLance, Python, PowerShell, Pretty, Pretty Coder. Most of these, if not all of them, right here in the in my README here. Very easy to use, very simple. The only ones I really would recommend that are mandatory would be, you know, these a couple of these that I really recommend. Um, some are definitely optional. Um, I don't always use everything. But what we're gonna do, get started on how to build out your first environment to make sure that everything is kind of working. And let's go over what basically virtual environments are. Virtual environments are a very simple way to install packages that are very reusable and libraries specifically in Python. In this one, we're just gonna create a very simple one called My First Environment or first environment. And then from there, we're gonna run it, the first environment, install some packages if they're not already installed, and then run some simple Python code to check if everything's working out. As you can see over here on the code, we don't have anything nor in the repository. So in this exercise, you basically have to create your first environment by running this command right here. So it's Python minus M, V, E, E, N, V, and then the name of your environment. In this case, it's gonna be first environment. So I'm just gonna copy this right here paste it, and then run it. Okay, great. Now, if that was successful, what you'll notice is under this folder, you should see something called first environment. And what that will have is something called scripts. And depending on where you are, if you're running it on Windows or Linux or, or Mac, this command will be a little different. I'll show you where it is on Windows. So in Windows, it's gonna be under that folder, first environment, scripts, and then it's gonna be this right here. It's actually the PowerShell right here, not the activate, it should be activate, yes, one, that's a typo. And so what we're gonna do, if this is Windows, we're gonna go into that and then activate it. So it's gonna be first environment, and then it's gonna be scripts, and then it's gonna be activate, and then if you did this correctly, you should see something like this on the on the terminal that says first environment. That means that you activated the environment correctly. Great. If you have this in, let's say, in Linux or in Mac, you simply have to say source activate and then the name of the environment. So 
now that we did that, we need to install some libraries to test this out. So in order to test this out, what we're going to do is install a couple of these. So we're going to install FastAI. PyTorch is going to be installed by, by default. Pandas, Scikit-learn, NumPy, and Matplotlib in order to run this code successfully. So what I'm going to do is go to pip install fast AI. And this will just take a moment. All right, that took a moment to install, but once that's installed, what you'll want to do is actually run this command to test out if everything installed properly. Now, if everything installed properly, that means it'll call all of these libraries from Python, basically fast AI, PyTorch, Pandas, Scikit-learn, Matplotlib, and NumPy. So what I'm going to do is basically run python main.py. So it'll basically run all this code, calling all those libraries, and it should output the results. So basically in this code, what it's doing is really just creating a very simple k nearest neighbor tree to give the output of a recommendation. So let's do that and see what the output is. Should take a few moments. And then we're gonna have the initial indices, the predicted distance, and then the actual predictions of the inference itself. So it looks like everything was successful. Great. So that will basically show that the model was able to predict something. And then as a little bonus, if everything ran properly, you should get a image actually building out different recommendations right here. So it looks like we're getting something here. Looks like some of the words are cut off here, but basically, it looks like we were able to successfully set up a test environment and then run some code to validate those. So that's basically how I set up an environment to kind of go through all this testing and model building that I usually do. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Um, again, this GitHub will be posted here in the description and pinned in the comments. And for anyone who has any issues or other sort of, uh, let me know what kind of videos you guys want to be seeing. Um, I have another one that's actually going to be mostly my infrastructure as code that I build out a lot of machine learning models in the next video. And until then, uh, like and subscribe and yeah, I'll be posting more videos like this in the next few weeks. So stay tuned and yeah, I'll let you know. Hit that subscribe button, like this video and uh, you'll hear back from me soon. All right, take care everyone, bye.